Hello from Chination.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do this review on uh, another another review on the Coastal uh, Gross Museum, and this is uh, the blade. It's actually a very sharp, functional sword, and uh, as you can see, comes with a very nice wooden handle with blue uh, steel furnitures or whatever you call those fittings. And it's also uh, two pegs through the, the handle, which gives us very secure uh, construction and also big ring here. Okay, a huge hand guard. Leather scabbard. One thing I don't really like about the scabbard is the pointy design right here. If you actually accidentally scrape your hand, it's going to really cut yourself. And also right here as well same thing okay but other than that the blade itself is nice so here's the blade it's actually very sharp out of the box and uh, it's sharpened very well it's made of uh, 1055 carbon steel and so I'm still just like the other cold steel sword now just a typical test here you know you guys like to always do this kind of shit so, wow, cut paper, see, no problem, of course, right? What's more interesting is, today I'll be testing this and doing a little comparison between the Coastal, uh, which is a German design, uh, big knife, great cross monster, versus a Chinese style. So, right now let us test this thing first, okay? We're going to cut it right here. There we go. Okay, the uh, main, main thing about this uh, blade is you cannot start from here, right here at the edge, and chop right down. You need to really go on an angle for it to slice through. But then, when you get the angles right, it's actually quite good. Poking. The tip is not the strength of this blade. Okay guys, comparing to the uh, coastal German style Grossmesser, this is the Chinese style. And of course, this is not built and meant for a functional sword kind of purpose. It's actually a practice sword, but uh, you can't get this kind of style made in um, carbon steel and stuff like that as well. This blade here is actually made with carbon steel, but it's not a very good type of carbon steel that I will sharpen for use. It is a full tank blade, but it's not pegged. Like there's no peg right here. It's a full tank blade. It weighs uh, pretty heavy. Forgot how much it weighs. Okay, but um, yeah, from here to here, you see how big it is. Now let's compare to the German style. Chinese one is longer beefier, thicker, but then the German style have a bigger hand guard. Let's take a close look. See, the, uh, this one, German style, got a bigger hand guard. And uh, the blade is very different, of course. Good. For the handle, the uh, Chinese one have a much longer handle for more leverage. And this one have a smaller handle. For the Chinese one, you can hold it like so, like this, and you can also hold it like this to block. Okay. You can also hold it like this. So both sides, like this uh, long handle, gives you a lot of leverage for chopping like this. It, it is almost like a semi-pole arm. It's not sharpened, but then I was just trying to show you the action. So guys, here you go. You can see the uh, Chinese big knife. <laughs> Gross, monsieur. <laughs> okay, it's very different from the German one, but it's an interesting contrast. Um, between the two, honestly, for me, 
I prefer the hand guard and the handle of the Chinese, but I would like the blade of the Germans. The German blade, it feels much more balanced and the size is not too ridiculously huge. While you can still gain a lot of control, okay? The guard here, I know someone will say they like the guard style and it's like that, but for me, uh, personally, I would prefer a round and shorter hand guard so that this kind of movement, you don't stab yourself in the wrist and stuff like that. But other than that, I really like the handle, the style, the wood and stuff like that. So this is actually a very sexy blade and as you can see, it, it actually will perform very well uh, in, in uh, hacking, chopping, thrusting and kind of stuff like that. So yeah, very nice blade overall and this is my little uh, and other review and comparison this and the Chinese style uh, blade so now I'll do a little demonstration at the end and you can take a look at that with this and then imagine when you use that okay, with the same kind of technique okay thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye